That'll bring up second down. Here's the offense, and when you talk about this offense, you certainly have to talk about all-day AP, Adrian Peterson. Does not shy away from contact. Also has the speed to go the distance. It's the rare combination that you get from one of the great runners of all time in the NFL. 2,000 yards every year is the goal. I never bet against him. In motion, Patterson. Second down, Bradford again. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Charles from the Giants defense here, looking forward to next season. What do they need to improve and where are they solid? I think that they'll want to continue to get better at the linebacker position. I think they want to add another pass rusher because Olivier Vernon, who was a free agent pickup in 2016, did a tremendous job coming off the edge. I thought they really shored up the interior with Damon Harrison, a defensive tackle. Landon Collins played at an MVP level on the defensive side of the ball as safety. And Janoris Jenkins became an eraser out on the corner. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll indeed go for it. It's Bradford. And this is incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Manning now on first down. Hits his target, the tight end, Will Ty. And eventually brought down, but it's near the five at the six. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. So the offense has it, six yard line, first and goal. And he's gonna get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Second down, the ball on the two here, second and goal. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Third and goal now. Maybe the offensive coordinator thinking blitz here. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Now this feels like old school football because this is turned into a good old fashioned and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Will Ty taking it in. And the Giants add on to their lead. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. You know, for this Vikings team, as they come back out here on offense, I don't know that any group had more of a roller coaster ride than them in the 2016 season. The quarterback change at the beginning, the hot start, and then the cold middle, it, it was just a tough year for them, wasn't it? It really was, and when you look at how their season went, you mentioned the roller coaster. A lot of it can come back to the injuries, especially along the offensive line. I think by around October, maybe even early November, I'm surprised you and I didn't get a call to go audition to be a left tackle <laughs> oh, there because they were just down so many guys. So that made it difficult to run the ball and to protect Sam Bradford, their quarterback, and it reflected in their final record. Now a play fake here on first down. And the pressure gets to Bradford, and down he goes. Devon Kennard from that outside linebacker spot. He's able to get in there for a loss of nine. Bradford off the play fake to Peterson. Going up top. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. 
Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Third and long for Bradford. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down after a good game. It's a big play that time on the fake punt. And they're able to move the chains as they convert on fourth and long. The first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, that play ended so fast, it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner, and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage. They come out here in the eye. Now Bradford on second down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. He was brought down by Devon Kennard. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Now a second down throw for Bradford. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, and it's third down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion, and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. On third down, Bradford. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dominique Rogers cromarty And now off to the races down the right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. <laughs> And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. They start the drive with Peterson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Brandon, I know you play the fantasy football game, and Adrian Peterson has to be a popular pick for owners. But this year, a tough season for him. A knee injury early limited him to 72 yards total for the season. Yeah, early indeed. Week two on that knee injury. So 72 yards, as you said, for the year. Came back admirable, hoping to get him into the playoffs, but didn't look like he was ready to return. One guy I never count out, though, is Adrian Peterson. I expect a monster return in 2017. They go play action. Now Bradford. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. 
The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. On fourth down, they do snap it. Bradford. And it is incomplete. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Here's Jennings. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. They run again with Jennings. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. It's Xavier Rhodes there in on the stop. Off the corner, where'd he come from? Well, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in a run game. No gain. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense. But in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass. Excellent job. Way to knock it down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They'll try to run now with Jennings. And he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Rashad Jennings, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. And they will line up now for the two-point try. Eli's going to throw, and now the ball comes out. Manning lost it, and he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it, so a sack on the two-point try. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And now out comes Minnesota. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. I'm just looking side by side at Diggs' number, rookie year versus sophomore year, a season ago. 52 catches as a rook, 84 last year. But something you pointed out to me, yards per catch is off a bit, isn't it? It is. And, you know, his first year, he was known a little bit more as a big play threat. This pass, he nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. Look at the big man. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble. If you try to shut us down. 